Hello folks and welcome. So I'm at Jero Linux, KDE Plasma, latest version 5.27.8. Now if you haven't visited um, Jero's website, you may want to take a peek. There's been some changes. And I believe one of the changes was actually today. And I'll take you on a quick tour over to DistroWatch to talk about Manjaro if you don't uh, not that familiar with Manjaro, and maybe some of the updates at the same time. So I'm using the uh, Plasma Desktop 5.27.8 using a 6.5 series kernel. I did a fresh install on a solid state drive. It took me less than five minutes. It was very nice. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the timer for these uh, either widgets or standard timers for this shutdown key. The default is 30 seconds. Maybe that is too long for you. Maybe it is not long enough. I am going to show you how to alter the time because it is not found in system settings. It's found in a file and I'll show you the file and I'll show you how to edit that. This is not everybody's cup of tea and I get it. But if you want to learn how to do that, then continue watching. I'm going to use simple explanations. And for the folks that are impatient, please be aware that the, there's a large target audience all over the world that are trying to, well, understand the subject matter sometimes. So what am I filming in today? Well, I could be filming in 4K and it would look very nice. However, the icons would be kind of small for you. So I decided to use 1920 by 1080. Now, a lot of times your YouTube player defaults to 460 and that looks not so nice. So click that gear symbol if necessary, if it looks ugly to you and change that back up to 1080. It's happened to me many times. I'm gonna use Alt and F4 to close this box. Alt and F4 just closes windows. Now, before I get cracking on all this information, I'm also gonna show you how to make a simple widget for your newer, newer folks. And then I'll talk about the time frame a little bit later. But I'm going to first talk about this round logo here that you should see right above the time date thing or somewhere in that region. If you are not seeing this over here, you're not watching this on my channel. You're watching it on someone else's channel. All right. So if you want to subscribe to Linux for Seniors, click that down here, not here. Okay. What, what is on Linux for Seniors? I have over 240 plus videos on all kinds of subject matter. I used to have a previous channel with 450 videos that ran for years on all kinds of materials also. So again, look for this icon down here. Click it and subscribe if you want to become a subscriber. If you already are, thank you and welcome back. So today, again, I'm going to be talking about the location of where this file is located to alter this in case you want to. If you don't want to, then you're good to go. I'll show you how to add a widget and you can call it good. But let me first um, grab a hold of this information here on DistroWatch. I don't use the popularity factor at all. Let me resize this on the fly. So um, Manjaro Linux had an update on 1021. That is today's date. Okay. That's when I'm filming this. So right down here is some more info for you. It was a little risque there. But anyways, um, you can see that information right here, 1021 and lots of little goodies that were updated down in here. I don't use the ratings and I don't use the popularity factor on DistroWatch at all, but I like the information that they culminate. You can find DistroWatch, by the way, as a link on my YouTube site also, but the official site for Manjaro is manjaro.org. And you can uh, click the download section, pick the appropriate hardware. I'm using uh, obviously a 64 bit but not obvious, but anyway, 64 bit. And here's the plasma desktop and there's the download key. All right. So let's talk about this widget. You can stack these icons this way or this way and resize this to your heart's content. I'm going to remove that on purpose. So my timer is currently set for 12 seconds. The default is 30 by the way. And the setting is not found in here. So let's first talk about widgets. Right click, add a simple widget. It's like a toy if you want to call it that. Grab a hold of the lock and log out and just drag it out. So if you're wanting to do this in a hurry, right click, enter mode. Now you can resize it either this way or you can go vertical. I will leave it in that size and call it good. So when I click that, I got the, um, I chose the hibernate fun function also, by the way. 
but I have all these selections. If I don't make a selection, it'll auto shut down in less than four seconds. So that might not be enough time for someone. Maybe you, you want to leave it at the default 30 seconds, but maybe you want it less. And by the way, this is the same one. Still 12 seconds, no matter how I slice it. Maybe that's not enough time for you with the 30 seconds. Maybe you want longer or maybe shorter. So let's talk about where that file is located. So I have a text editor open. It's called Kate, and I'll just resize that on the fly. So um, you can use any text editor, but uh, more importantly, it's whatever the default text editor that opens up files on your system. And in this particular version of the Plasma desktop for Manjaro, it happens to be Kate. All right, so I brought this file in from another system. That's why this line is kind of ambiguous in here. What am I doing by resizing this text? Well, I am um, using a standard USB-based keyboard and a fairly standard USB-based computer mouse with a scroll wheel, holding down the control key, scrolling up to make things bigger. That's all I'm doing here. So you can see this better. But we're going to try to locate this file in this path, and we're going to open this and edit that. Not everybody's cup of tea, but if you want to add the timer, edit the timer, we're going to be looking for that information in this file. Now, why did I put line 40 to 57 or something near? Because on some other Plasma desktops, that information is different. Yes, it is different on some of them. File manager time. Are you comfortable with this? If not, you can always just hit stop and go elsewhere. But if you want to know how to edit that time frame, from here, then continue watching. I'm going to do this slowly. Open up root. That's where all the stuff starts from. USR, double click, share, double click. Are there are a lot of directories in here. Another name for that is folders, right? Okay, so I'm going to type in P. I'm looking for the plasma directory or folder. So that is located right here. All right, so let's take a look at the path again. USR share plasma and then we're going to look for look and feel no pun intended a little dry humor there folks gotta gotta have a little humor once in a while because this could be a dry subject all right I'm looking for org.kde let me make this bigger for you uh, org kde breeze desktop double click and contents and logout Again, I have this whole thing setting up here. My videos have timelines and chapters if you're watching that on my official channel. Okay, so we're looking for logout QML. Before I open it, I'm just going to give you some cautions if you're new to uh, editing these kind of files. Be very careful what you edit and more importantly, only edit this line right here that has the property real timeout. It's found near somewhere between 40 and 57. So when I open this, since I have Kate already open, it'll open it up in a tab. So I'm gonna open the file up now. And then I'm gonna close this box. Too small for you? Well, then I'm gonna do the old control key and scroll up. Now it left the actual line open for me. However, on your system, it'll more likely default to line one. Okay, so again, holding down the control key, scrolling back and forth, three size text on the fly. All right, so I'm going to scroll down to line 40 something, uh, whatever that was. Um, I'm looking for this right here. So it's line 44 on this one. So again, it was between 40 and 57. So line 44 represents a 12. That is currently what it, this is set for 12 seconds. Maybe that's not enough time because your default will be 30. All right, may I suggest that you use your upper uh, row on your keyboard numeric instead of the 10 keypad because if you don't have your numeric lock uh, pushed already, it'll fly all over the place. So, but you can do it your way. Now, I'm going to um, basically either highlight this or just hit the, the back arrow key. You can see where the cursor is blinking. Just eliminate that number. It'll be 30 on your machine, more than likely. So is 30 seconds too short? Maybe you want 45 seconds. So put in 45 and save this file. Because I'm going to alter this multiple times and show you how quickly you can do this. 
I'm going to type in my password and close. So instead of using the X in the corner, there's another tip for you. Alt and F4 closes this box. Now let's test this out. 45 seconds here. 45 seconds here. Doesn't matter if I change to different alternatives. Hopefully you know how to do that with the menu. Okay. Now I'm going to reopen this. And the nice thing about um, Dolphin, it remembered my last location. And even when I opened this, it remembered my last area I edited even. So let's try 10 seconds. All right, I'm going to use the upper row on my keyboard. I started to grab a hold of my numeric and I realized the, the numlock key was not on. That's why I was referring to that earlier. So 10 seconds it is. Save, put in the password, put in my password and I'll use the conventional X this time. And X. Now this is set for 10 seconds. This may not be enough time for some folks, but this may be a desired effect for some. And again, in case you don't want to use a widget, you can use it the old fashioned way. Okay, 10 seconds it is. So whether it's 45 seconds, 10 seconds, 22 seconds, 19 seconds, it's whatever. So the file again is found root USR share plasma look and feel org dot kde breeze desktop contents logout. And again, be careful editing that. If you're absolutely um, paranoid, then you can hit the control C and make a copy of that file before you edit it. Probably not a good idea or not a bad idea for some folks. All right, so widgets are pretty simple to play with. Just remember that if I don't do anything, it'll shut down my machine in 10 seconds. That may not be enough time for some folks. So that's how you altered the time. Again, Linux for Seniors has lots of different material. Thank you for watching.